How's it going guys? We've got a cracking game tonight. The Cats and the Tigers will be going head to head at the MCG under Friday Night Lights. The Cats got off to a pretty decent win, all things considered against Adelaide last week. This week might be a bit of a challenge. The Tigers have been struggling a little bit. They've got two wins and a tie out of their eight last appearances, but they got off to a good win against West Coast, so they're going to be coming into this one with a bit more confidence, a bit more form. So it's going to have to be a bit more aggressive, I think. Uh, we're going to have to probably get on top of the Tigers early. They're going to be coming into this one feeling confident. We're missing a lot of our players too, so the middle's going to be a bit weird to watch to see who's going to be our major ball winners. But overall, it's going to be a tough game, but winnable. Um, I think we should still be able to get the, the goods here. I'm thinking the Cats should get the win, but geez. I reckon it's going to be close. I'm tipping 10 points. I reckon I think it's going to be an absolute thriller. I'll catch you guys in a bit and I'll see you guys at the ground. Butterfingers, man. Gotta at least tap it out in front of you. What an absolute machine this guy has been in defense for us. I'm telling you, all Australian. Even if it's in the 40. He's been very good for us, very serviceable for sure. So Tom Hawkins, we all know what he's capable of, is going to be lining up for the Cats potential first of the match. Probably going to have to kick at 40, not the biggest angle, should be pretty straightforward. It looked a bit awkward, but you know what, it got the job done, and he gets the first goal of the match for the Cats. So Rioli gets on the end of a goal for the Tigers, making it their second for the match. Just gets loose in the forward 50, make a bit of an error there, and just costs us the six points, so a bit unfortunate. Didn't really actually find a target there, but Rioli was, like I said, loose in the forward 50 and gets a pretty easy one. So Tigers get the second for the match. We're going to have to try and get one back now. So the Tigers get something out of nothing, and that's their third goal for the match. Just slammed it out of the ruck contest. Atkins, I think he just dropped it. He just penetrates it into the forward 50, hoping to find a body, but he actually found the six points instead. So that's their third goal. Looking a bit shaky. We're starting to really feel it for the missing plays that we have tonight, but it's not really an excuse. We're going to have to pick it up, or else we're going to be um, in struggle town really quickly, really soon. Faithful, not a fan of Stewart. Yes. Really not a fan of Stewart. What up, Joey? And Hawkins once again. Just the correct positioning required to win that, and he did that pretty much with ease. Let's see if he can get on to the end of it. running carry from Myers though. It was actually a beautiful kick. It was probably one of the better misses I've seen. Great tackle there from Max Holmes. Caught him napping just a little bit and gets rewarded. 
Yes. There we go. We're a bit open. Let's see if we can find a target. Oh, looks like he's going to opt to slow it up. He finds Holmes as the target. I'm oh, sorry, Brian is the target. And eventually finds Nevitt loose. Go for it, son. Hasn't been playing much AFL Good footy job, so far, but he's been getting a few more games this year. We'll see if he can back himself in with the six. No, nope, just going to fall short. Just a bit of a chain play from the Tigers. This is the way they like to play, attack the corridor, find the one-on-one, -on -one, and they'll score. That's what they would prefer, obviously, but Trent Cochin going to be having his first shot onto the goals. It's going to be Tigers' potential fifth, but... We'll see where this goes, I guess. Lines it up, and it's gone through, so that's the Tigers' fifth. The Tigers start off pretty hot in the quarter. Cat's going to have to work for this one. And just like that, the Tigers get another one. That's their sixth for the quarter. Bit of a distance to go, but he's gonna look, pop it up. Come on. Touch the line. So, is the tale of the story so far? Kicking two and six. So, not really, not really the start we would have wanted scoring wise. What a time here at the MCG and the. Uh, Tigers are up by about three goals. Not the start we were really looking for, I'll be honest. Starting to feel a lot of those plays that I'm missing. We don't really have a, a true ball winner at the moment, so it's a bit of a struggle. But the Tigers, credit to them. They've started out this game really well. They've got a clear game plan. They know what they want to do. And we've just come out a bit slow. Two and seven, a bit inaccurate. If we get a couple of those, the margin probably looks a bit more respectable, but as it stands, the cats are a bit down at the moment, so uh, hopefully we'll be able to discuss something uh, on the field, some tactical decisions, maybe we need to change a bit more pressure going down into the corridors and just try and clog it up a bit, but so far the Tigers have played pretty well. See if he opts to find a target. He's going to handball it off to Holmes. It's not a great kick. Yeah. Oh, but he got a mark out of it. Oh, Henry. My assumption here is going to be opting to go for a snap around the body. Oh, well, umpires called him back. Well, he's got to be on his line to go for yeah. And, yep. The goal goes to Oli. Gets him his first. Cats get their third, three and eight. Geez, we've been inaccurate, but we that one on the ground. No. Has it got it? Has it got it? Isaac. Isaac around. Oh, it's kicked that one. Isaac gets his first and the Cats fourth. Come on, Cats, got to get back. Tigers get yeah, their seventh. A bit unfortunate there, but it is what it is now. We're just going to have to go back to the center and regroup.
goal for the Tigers. We're kind of there, but we're not. The scoreboard is just not helping us. Kicking 10 behind. We're going to need to find something out of nothing. It is a bit of a journey to get, so it looks like he's just going to pop it up. Half time here at the G and the Tigers are up by 10 points. We did kick the last goal of the half so it gives us something to go into it but so far not so great. I don't think we've been playing that bad all things considered. Um, but we're just not converting on the score sheet. Uh, I think we've kicked like a level behind or something like that. Just uh, not really the, uh, the conversion we're looking for, but the game is still in the balance. You know, we've been hanging in with them. The Tigers, they look like they've been playing really well, and we haven't been playing that well, I'll be honest. And the fact that we're still sticking with them is a good sign. So, we're still in it. we still got the chance to try and get something going out here, but so far, credit to the Tigers playing well so we'll see how we respond going into the next half the Tigers managed to win the ruck contest in the forward 50 and convert them to a goal so first goal first blood of the half going to the Tigers through shy Bolton Boyle goes straight to Cochin's hands, snaps it right around the body on his left and gets rewarded with the six points, so just a bit unfortunate there. Again, the defence has been something I've been banging on about for the majority of the year, really. I just feel like our defence is still not really organised yet and it's starting to show against a more hungry, more determined Richmond at the moment, so I'm going to have to try and wrap things up quickly. Gets a mark. Our inaccuracy has been absolutely terrible to watch so far, so let's hope he can just be a bit more accurate for this yeah. one. Yeah. Oh, he gets the goal. And the Cats keep it within touching distance. It's looking tough. The inaccuracy, the turnovers, the lack of pressure play, uh, just not being able to get any linking football really going. It's kind of costing us at the moment and it just kind of reflects in the game. I think the Tigers have probably played one of their better games that they've played for the year and they've really showed up and the Cats, well, not really. Like, yes, I can go on about how we're missing all these players, you know, etc stuff like that but to be honest it's not really an excuse what we have out here tonight should still be good enough to get the job done and at the moment it's just not looking like the case so you know three goals going into the last we could still get something out of it but we're gonna have to play some of our best football tonight to do it so hopefully we can get a couple of goals early maybe get back into the match get them a bit nervous and then we could come away with the win, but at the moment not really looking like it. So we'll see how the fourth quarter goes, guys. Strap yourselves in, because it'll either be an absolute banger or a very disappointing finish. So I'll see you guys in a bit when I do my wrap up. Come on! Come on. <laughs> he's kicked 1-1 one, one with 15 disposals. Now he's going to be having a shot for his potential second. See where this one goes. He's kicked up. And highlights it so did the Richmond faithful. So they 
gives Richmond an extra goal to their tally and it's just been the tale of the story so far just not really good enough to convert on chances if and when we do get them and our injuries inside 50 have just been woeful Not good enough tonight so far. Stretches it out to 30 points. Six goals is the difference though. It's a lot to make up for, but if we're gonna do anything, this is where it needs to start, so. He has kicked it. There we go. Got a little something. Brings it back to 30 points. Stadium. I won't be at that game. Um, I'll see. I might organize something, but we do take on the Giants at home in two weeks' time. I will be there for that one at GMHBA, so make sure you stick around. Thanks, guys. Have a good day or night, whatever time you're watching this, and I'll catch you in the next one. Damn, that sucks, man. That really sucks. Oh, no. Oh, no. no words. We got robbed. We were robbed. Daylight robbery. Oh, it's not yeah, time just wasn't great, wasn't it? No, I don't know what happened. Absolutely. I'll have a quick word. The last last year, the Cats were five and four after round nine. We are now five and four. That's Next true. Nothing that's, 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 that's a good over. Call Let's it. see what's happened. Call the season. Well, I hate up. losing to Richmond. I can't stand losing to them. We haven't lost to Richmond the home away season since how long? 2017. Oh, it's been a while. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, just not great. Not great result. Not great play. And subscribe to all things, yeah. But yeah, make sure you guys do subscribe. Once again, thank you for watching, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.